Right. Amateur Hour has begun. Welcome to Amateur Hour. That's what I'm going to call it now. Pez Amateur Streaming Mode. Truly awful. Truly awful. So, do you want to know why that was going wrong? There's a little button on the front and this stupid pop shield that I've got kept pressing it. Just, just trash. Absolute trash. Anyway, Series 4, Episode 6. No, yeah? Series 4, Episode 7. God, this has gone to shit. Let's just get into it. Unbelievable. Ten minutes late, and then can't even get the mic to work. It's all falling apart. Gone two bits. <sighs> Let's take a breath. Let's take a breath and think about where we are. So we're top of the league. Jermaine Defoe is top of the goal rankings. We've already looked at that silently. Um, so we're doing pretty well, although we are in a bit of a run of poor form at the moment. Steven Gerrard needs to G us up. Actually, Matthias, the pop shield I've got. Welcome everyone in the comments, by the way. Hey, Mark. Hey, everyone. Great to have you here. Um, the pop shield I've got is quite a good one. It's just like a massive... It's sort of... Imagine a huge ten-sided shape. It's almost like a... I, no, I, I can't really... can't really explain what it's like. But it, it should, in theory, be good. But it's just so big, I can't even see the little mute button on the front, which I keep pressing, and I'm an absolute tool. Anyway... We're starting today, we've not got our favourite players with us, but let's just get into it, because there's going to be a lot of standing around. That is the problem with Become a Legend. That is the problem specifically with playing Become a Legend for Rangers with Jermaine Defoe. They like to take their sweet time on the ball. They like to move it around, they like to pass it along the back line. We don't see much of it. So hopefully today, we'll get a few chances. Uh, you're in Martin Petrov, bro. Isn't it funny that Defoe is almost as old as Steven Gerrard? I guess that's funny. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. No, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, it sort of shows Defoe's longevity. He certainly doesn't strike me as the sort of player who would be interested in management. He's all about the goals. That's it. That's all he can do. Maybe he could be a striker's coach. You can imagine that. Look at the Ross County ground. Love to be playing in grounds like this. This is how far Jermaine Defoe has fallen. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong at all. Right. So, I mean... We're going to dive straight into this. Look at that. It's a lovely stadium. Look at the look at the foliage. Look at the tree line behind us there. We, we need to pan up and see that. So anyway, what we do now is Rangers will pass it around the back. And then maybe some point in the next 10 minutes, we might get to see Jermaine Defoe. And if we do, we might get a chance on goal. But it's generally a very slow build-up. That's not the sort of ball we're looking for. We'll gamble on the header. No. Oh, pressure. No. Ball inside, yes. Defoe out of his feet. Little dummy. Oh, should have pulled the trigger there. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So, let's start the build up again. We're looking at, we seem to be slightly more direct today than usual. Defoe's into the channel here. That's well worked. Tavano, good to see him in the side. He provided a lot of assists for us early in this career. Ooh, who's that? We're missing, uh, yeah, we're missing Kent and Ojo. Is it Kent and Ojo? Yeah. What we've really got to try and do, what I do try and do is resist the temptation to call. Oh, that's beautiful. Defoe's offside. Oh, it's worked well here. The shot comes in and we've opened the scoring here. Rangers off the mark. I was just sort of chatting shit then and making probably not the best run ever. But Gresda sneaks in and off balance finishes well. And we're off the mark here, as we should be against, Ron against Ross County. Good stuff. 11 minutes in, no problems at all. And yeah, Defoe trying to find a bit of space there. It's a good finish in the end, actually. Slipping on the poor surface. And uh, yeah, there we go. Off the mark. I suppose that was quite a good ball. Defender there. <laughs> the captain was just like, nah, not bothered. Have a go. Just have a shot. You're not going to be able to beat this pitch. But he did. So there we go. So how does the audio sound now, just in general? And the audio isn't great. The room that I'm recording in is not the best for audio, and I'm able to sort of repair a little bit of that normally in the uh, audio editing. 
Obviously, I can't remember live or oh, Taverner's ball through. Would have been a useful one there. The foe's still lurking. That's a great ball. Ah. See, what I'm used to doing, what I'm really used to doing, when I'm, when I'm recording this, actually, it makes more sense for me to make the edit a bit easier. That When the ball's nowhere near him, I'll just be quiet. And I'm trying, I've got to try, obviously, on a live stream to get out of that habit. Because the advantage of not talking when the ball's nowhere near you is in the edit. You can pretty much edit by the audio waveform. I mean, this is absolute gold, isn't it? You'd love to hear more about this, I'm sure. But essentially, that's why <laughs> there might be some, compared to Master League Enemy, anyway, some moments where I'm just silent. So I'll try, try and say something. That's Ross County to build their first attack of the game, but it'll come to nothing, and we can clear. Defoe's had very little to do so far, but that's a nice tidy pass. We've got one in the uh, successful passes column for the game. That's a great ball. Now Defoe can find a bit of space. Slips it in looking for, I think that is Murphy. Oh, big chance here. Simple ball in. Oh, oh. <laughs> so close. Another good chance there. Squandered, unfortunately, but another good chance. Defoe lurking here. Can we time the run right? The near post. Oh, that's a good one in. Defoe's there. Could fall to a red shirt. Defoe lurking into the box. He wants it. Oh, it could fall here. Defoe! <laughs> Acrobatic stuff. So anyway, how's, uh, how's everyone doing? I guess we can just chat about life, can't we, while we pass it along the back line. Rangers will not be hurried, especially at a goal up. There is not going to be any rushing this side. Didn't really want it there. We'll play that back. And we'll look to build again. That's a good ball. That's going to be difficult to find a way through. <laughs> Tricky. Spittle. That's an unfortunate name. That is a really unfortunate name. I spoke to someone today. And uh, their name was Mrs. Nutter. And I said, is that... How do you spell that? Is that... You know, double T. And she was like, yeah, it's how you'd expect. It's an awful name. And I was like, well, yeah, no, you're right. That's not the best name ever. There's many worse names. Anyway. <laughs> That's what's going to have to happen in Become a Legend Live. Because, you know, there's only so much I want to commentate on us passing it around in the midfield. So, there we go. There we go. Fontaine of Youth. It's a good ball out and a lovely first touch, actually. They're yet to trouble our penalty area, though, but Vigors. Just, that's fine. No, nope. what? Come on, Chalmers. Super Nintendo! Oh, that's actually not far off. Not far off at all. I mean, it's about as close as you can get off the post. 61% possession for the Gers so far. And that's straight into touch. It's a really lonely life as a become a legend striker. Have to wait. I mean, there's no point in going forward there. There's no one there. I don't want it there. I don't want it there. Okay, that's fine. Got it away. Too close. Too tight. I didn't want the ball. You can call for it, yes, but you can't not call for it, and that is sometimes frustrating. In fact, that's always frustrating. When I'm playing, you just give it a little leave it, little leave it, little hand down. No, nope, don't want it. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. But you get the ball anyway. Spittle now. The man with the unfortunate name. Well, that's... You, you've gone in a bit quickly there. Super Nintendo Chalmers loses out. And we get the ball back. And we'll start again here in this thrilling matchup. And it's now half-time. There we are. Well, doesn't get much less exciting than that. Two shots. Uh, Dwayne Defoe had a couple of chances. Both times we went for an unnecessary dummy. So, yeah. See if we can get another go in the second half. Scoring a goal. I think we're on a bit of a bad run when it comes to goal scoring. So, Johan in the comments saying, it's like watching a Burnley or Newcastle game, only long balls and no short passing. I know, it's frustrating. It's very frustrating, especially seeing as we're playing a possession style. Ah! So few things to do in the game. We've got to get those little passes right. But yeah, it is frustrating. I mean, part of that will be the quality of the league. 
Um, but part of it is also doesn't quite work this strategy really. See so now he's going to play it into me here. We we there's no point in us receiving the ball there. You need to build more gradually. That's it. Out to the wings. Use the wings. That's a good ball. Montaigne heads away. Ooh, good fall here. No, Chalmers clear. So thoughts on Mourinho? Um, well, I mean, when I actually genuinely, when I heard that in the car this morning on the radio, I, I laughed. A full-on actual audible laugh. You know how people say, oh my God, I was rolling around on the floor laughing. And really it's just a, you know, an exhale from the nostrils. I actually laughed. I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. Personally, I like to keep all the things that I hate in the same place. It's good to know where they all are. And now I can be quite confident that my least favourite team and manager are both in the same place at one time. I never have to worry about where they are. That's a positive. The other positive as well is, I mean, Mourinho surely is going to tank the club. I mean, he's going to do what he did to United. I'm absolutely sure of it. Everything he's done in his career has been slightly worse than the thing before, arguably. I mean, you could say, obviously, Chelsea was his, his greatest achievement. You know, his first spell at Chelsea. But then, obviously, Champions, win, Champions League win with Porto before that. Does it get much more impressive than that? No, probably not. The Inter Milan Champions League, very impressive. Then going to Real Madrid. Um, you know, he couldn't really fail to be fairly successful. And then it's gone horribly downhill from there. And I'm hoping... That downward trajectory will continue at Spurs. So, I mean, asking an Arsenal fan how you feel about the new Spurs manager, it's not going to be the most positive review, but also I think it is hilarious. So that would be my take on the situation. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is how boring it is uh, in between the moments that you would see in an edited video. That's, that's pretty much the summary of it. There you go, see, look, a break there and it goes straight back. I mean... What do you do? What do you do? I mean, this is going to be absolutely painful to watch for anyone watching. I mean, it's painful to watch now, I'm sure, live, but painful to watch back. It's much easier when I'm just editing these, like, tiny moments in each game where we actually have the ball or in an attacking position. Ah, but it is really tricky. Really tricky. Because... The build-up play just doesn't seem to be there anymore. And that is the problem. Uh, one of a kind says, the only thing I don't like about you is I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, that's absolutely fair. That's fair. I can't, I can't help that. I can't help that. I was born this way. Oh, oh, chance. Oh, come on. Get the ball into box. Into box. No, I'm, I'm going to refrain from attempting any live Scottish accents because... I can't do them at the best of times, and I don't want it to be committed to film forever without the chance to edit it. That's an awful fucking cross, that is. Is that John Ruddy? John Ruddy. Yeah, so Dominic's saying, I think this live thing is fine. It's a new era for you. It is a new era. It's a, it's a new phase of Pez Story Mode, at the very least. I don't necessarily see this as being a permanent thing. Although I have to say, I do like having it just being done. Once I've finished recording, that's it. We're done. Go to bed, do whatever I like. I don't have to worry about an edit. I don't have to worry about much else, really. Um, which is always a bonus, really. Look at the 75 minutes. Have we even had a touch? In the second half, barely. Mackay. That's a very Scottish name, isn't it? That's a decent ball. Graham's there with the towering header, and that's over the bar, and not an issue. So Martin in the comments uh, says, as a new viewer, why Pez over FIFA? That's an interesting question, Martin. I mean, personally, um, I'm of an age, early 30s, thank you very much. Emphasis on the, I'd say I'm mid-early 30s, is that a thing? Oh, we've been substituted, fucking hell. Well, we've got another few minutes for Morelos to almost certainly score a goal. But yeah, why Pez over FIFA? As I said, yeah, I'm um, mid-early 30s. Mid to late early 30s, I would describe myself. Uh, birthday's coming soon. 
Uh, and I've always just, I mean, I've played PES from International Superstar Soccer. Soccer. Oh, my God, that's nearly dust score. From a time where PES and ISS were undoubtedly the kings of gameplay, of presentation, of everything. Uh, I, I used to play a little bit of FIFA, really, but PES has always been the better game. I played it throughout my childhood, into my teens, into my adult years. And it's just always been better. I, to be honest, the presentation and the leagues thing has never really bothered me. I used to buy option files. This is really going to date me. Obviously, now you go to PES Universe, little plug there, and you download your option file onto the USB. I used to, in the PS1 era, I used to buy from eBay. People would put up listings uh, where you would send them. It might have been eBay. It might have been another website. I'm not sure. Um, you would send them your blank, or not your blank, just your memory card. You know, your little thing that's slotted in the front of your PS1. And... They would send it back with all the team names and all the all the kits edited. I don't know if it was the kits. It might just have been the team names, actually. Uh, so why am I even saying that? I can't remember. Oh, I was saying yes. Yeah, so I've never really been that bothered about the presenta presentation issues with PES. Now even less so. You know, the option files sort that out instantly. Uh, now, why do I play PES? Uh, well, I've only got time to play one game, and I've just always played PES. Is that a good enough reason? Probably not. I'm not sure. Maybe it is. Um, but that's it. And then now, I mean, this channel's called Pez Story Mode. And, I mean, I just, I haven't, honestly haven't even played FIFA in, in years. I don't have time. I don't have enough time to play this Pez, as we've proved. Anyway, well, that was fun. Little monologue there. You probably regret asking me why I play Pez. And actually, having said all that, I'm still not quite sure. So, Defoe with a 5.5, but we get the win and we keep trudging on. Yeah, so not that exciting start against Ross County, who are ninth. Celtic only a point behind us now. They're there. They're ready to overtake us if we drop off at all. Who do we have next, though? That's the question. So, ah, so we've still not actually. I don't think we've gone down. I keep watching physical contact. That's the one I'm expecting to go down first. There's barely any left. And, uh, oh, Kobo in the comment. Welcome. Kobo99 in the comments. Um, I'm expecting physical contact to go down. It's 65 now. You'd think we are certainly not getting any better. We're certainly on a downward trend. Why has that not gone down? I don't know. I mean, we've not played that many games, to be fair. Uh, World's Best Player Award. Who do we think it's going to be? Lewandowski? No, Ronaldo. Fair enough. Fair enough. And then who have we got next? We are back at Ibrox against... Who is that then? Who is that? Kilmarnock. Killy. Oh, they're third. They're third in the league. That's okay. Okay. Got to be wary of this one. Uh, will we start today? Uh, little thing there. Veteran Jermaine Defoe leads by big example with big contribution. I don't know what that was in. Uh, Jermaine Defoe to be transferred. We oh Chelsea. Oh, <laughs> link with the Chelsea. A Chelsea move. Now that is of interest. That is that's tickled my fancy. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. Still no actual bids in. What month are we? Where are we? Oh, we're in December, so we're not far off the January transfer window. Ooh, do do do. That's that's a tempting one, isn't it? The Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea at the moment are almost becoming a likeable team, aren't they, in real life? Which is which is odd. It certainly doesn't sit well with me. They've got lots of young, exciting English players, all of which are quite likeable. They've got a manager who... I mean, I'm a huge Frank Lampard fan, personally. Always rated him. Always preferred him to Steven Gerrard. Just wait for the abuse there. Oh, and we're playing against Kilmarnock, which is particularly exciting as we're going up against crackhead Alex Bruce. That is the worst face picture that anyone has ever had in Pez, without a doubt. Undoubtedly. Undoubtedly. Hilarious. Um, so, good. Ojo and Kenton today. Hopefully they can be a little bit more dynamic down the wings. Defoe starts, despite a poor game in the last one. How many poor games like that have we got left? Probably not that many. Uh, this should be a test. This should be a test. They're third in the league. They're one of the slightly better sides. Let's find out. Let's 
So here we are at Ibrox. It is great to be playing at a stadium like Ibrox so regularly in this game. It's great. Rangers TV there. Subscribe from £5 a month. That's, that's fairly reasonable. I don't think you get the games though, do you? No. Spoobeer says, can you edit Defoe so he doesn't tuck his shirt in like a dork? How dare you? How dare you? Jermaine Defoe does that in real life because he's a proper player. Proper players tuck their shirts in, pull their socks off. Socks off and off and up. Off at the end of the game, up during the game. No, we keep it as it is. That's the sign of a true veteran. And uh, Right, let's see if we can be a bit better in this game. Let's see if we can actually have a chance and take it. That's better. That's the sort of simple play that we need. Out to Kent. Clark to his friends. That's better. Defoe, this, God, they've got a lot of men behind the ball here. That's well worked. Oh, it's a foul. Ref, referee. Good. A power. That's a good name. That's a better name. Towering header there. Can Defoe get to it? No, he can't. Powell pick it up. McCreeny. Oh, you do get a lot of that. <laughs> you get, what is that? I had so much time. That's awful. And we can bring it away. Defoe spreads play. Let's, yeah, a little bit of separation. Let's work the ball. Let's find some spaces. Didn't want it there, but we'll find Ojo. No, we won't. What a poor ball that is, Ojo. Defoe finds him again. Oh, he can sneak his way out of that just about. Defoe wants a ball into the box. It's a lovely ball. Oh, Taverner there, just floating one in. But ultimately, too close to the keeper. It's unlucky. So let's start again. What you don't see is much creativity. The problem is, if, I, if I'm in a position now to be passed to, I will be passed to. And you sort of want to avoid that. So you almost need to try and make sure you can't be passed to like that. Otherwise, that's going to happen and you lose the ball. Just, just as an example there of what you shouldn't do. Um, you sort of just need to make yourself unavailable for as long as possible. Otherwise, they won't build it up at all. Chips are worthless ball in there, but O'Donnell has to deal with it. Didn't get the call. Did not get the call. Um, but, yeah, we've got to, um, you've almost got to force your teammates into playing smartly. And Smartly is not a ball into Jermaine Defoe. He's not a hold-up player. He's not a hold-up striker. Okay, chance here is it's back out. What's a lovely touch from Tavener. Defoe's there. That's a really, really good challenge from Kilty. Defoe, edge of the box. We'll find Ojo. No, he's offside. Ah, he's, uh, he's quite offside. He's quite offside. That's unfortunate. So 19 minutes in. Not the most exciting start. No shots as of yet. Good header there, and we will retain possession. So I think I'm going to stand offside for a bit. <laughs> There's no one there backing him up, though. That's the problem. Where's the overlapping wing at uh, fullbacks? So that wasn't a foul, then. O'Donnell into Thomas. Oh, yes. Defoe. Suarez like harassing there of the midfield. <laughs> you don't see much from them of him from that. Don't see much of that from him even. Bloody hell. What is that? I mean what is that? Who is that to? The good thing about, again, the good thing about these being edited is you can almost make it look like become a legend mode actually works. Um, but a lot of the time your teammates have got an IQ of you know a footballing IQ sort of Titus Bramble level. Sorry to the big man, but he's, he's always one that springs to mind when you think of, I mean, maybe Philippe Senderos. I mean, oh, yes, Defoe through here. Can he shape one? Oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Out of nothing. Out of nothing at all. Uh, I've forgotten the Defoe chant. What is it? Uh, I'm going to make one up. Jermaine Defoe, Defoe. Jermaine, no, that's that's awful. Um, no, okay. What was it? What was it? No, I can't believe I've forgotten it already. <laughs> it's been that long since we played. I think I actually looked at the 
uh, time of the last video. It might be two weeks since we played with Jermaine Defoe. That's awful. Fucking get to that, mate. That's right by you. Just roll past your nose. Roll past your nose. So there we are, Jermaine Defoe feeding on scraps in this game, but he only needs scraps. Like a, uh, like a rat. Just needs scraps. That's all he needs to survive. That was a partic particularly good finish with the left foot as well. Oh, that's smart centre forward play there. That's smart. You don't learn that overnight. In fact, can you even teach that? Calm in possession. Moved it back. Uh, so Monjo wants to know, do players even retire and become a legend? Uh, yes, they... Well, actually, I mean, I don't know for sure, but they do in Master League. And we made him a bit younger in this so that he wouldn't retire straight away because that would be really annoying if we got to the end of the first season and he just hung up his boots, uh, you know, when we had a chance to maybe do a little bit more. Um, but presumably they do retire. I don't know. Does anyone play? I mean, sometimes you do see players into their... Maybe I've seen a 40-year-old player in Master League. So I don't know. We'll find out, maybe. Actually, in fact, at this rate, we won't find out. We might get to the end of the season at the most. Um, but yeah. So another exciting game here. Kilmarnock unable to break us down. Luckily, we scored that absolute scorcher. And now Ojo, keep the ball. Keep the fucking ball, Shaji. Jesus Christ, man. We don't want... Just because we're there, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. You've been our better player to play with. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that stupidity. Finley. Oh, had to get that right. Didn't. Come on, let's break. There you go, Shaji. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Defoe inside. Lovely touch. Ah, too much. Could still get to it. Oh, he's taken out of the area there, referee. Low ball. Oh, <laughs> ref, what the... Go down, Jermaine. Go down. It's <laughs> uh, a shame. That's a shame. Anyway, we've got the goal. We're a goal up here at Ibrox. An important three points. This will be if we can finish it. Uh, ah, Johan Martin Petrov says, Don't swear, I have my child. Sorry, mate. Okay, okay. I'll keep it down. I'll keep it. Keep it PG. Uh, uh, you know, this is a family channel. It's not a family channel. I mean,. Yeah, okay, it's a family channel. It's fa for now, it can be a family channel. Uh, yeah, could I have used the dive button there? There is a dive button. I mean, if there was ever a time to use it, that was probably it. But I don't think it would have worked, to be honest. Yeah, I think it is all four buttons at once, so... Where are you going, Holanda? What's the plan here, mate? What's the plan? Ah, oh, worthless through ball. Can we profit from a header? No, we can't. Power back inside. And we'll take our time here. So Ananth wants to hear more about my wife and family. Uh, well, I mean, they're, they're lovely. All, all of them. There's one wife. Two family. Two additional family. A.K.A. children. Uh, they're nice as well. And one of them's asleep now. And one of them is feeding the other one. And you can use your imagination as to the setup of that scenario. Defoe now. Come on. Ojo's made a good run. It's opened up. Oh, it did a little hold up there. I didn't really want him to do that. Initiated the hold up. Prevented him from shooting. I wanted to fire off a thundercracker from distance. Holanda. Big header. Always a big header. Defoe's pulled out wide. He's had enough. We want to get involved here. We'll play it back inside. Now we've made a good run. Now we've made a good run. I mean, sometimes if you don't call for it and you get the pass, you know you've made the right run. Didn't get the pass there, so maybe it wasn't the right run. That's well held up. But oh, we'll take our time here. Two banks of four here for Killy. It's not a bad ball through to Ojo, but he's never going to get to that. Hour gone here. And Tavana was won the throw in. Little layoff here. And we'll go back. And Tavana. Can I remember? I mean, all of our midfielders look the same. One of the annoying things about Become a Legend is you can't force a player name tag above their heads for your teammates. I don't know why. 
you can do it in Master League. It does make commentating a little bit difficult when all of your midfielders are sort of average white men. Very difficult to tell the difference between them. So it's normally either, I can't remember what their names are, there's the Canadian guy isn't there or something, I don't know. This guy, actually I think that is Jack, no I don't know if it's Jack. What is that ball? What is that ball? I mean just pointless, absolutely pointless. Ian's on board, Wanners, welcome. And Solo, hello. Where do you think this Defoe series can go, back in the Premier League and win something there? I mean the goal was to win a trophy. Um, what, I mean, what is that? Uh, goals to win a trophy. So, I think... Oh. I mean... Stay at Rangers until we win a trophy? It'd be, it would be stupid to move in January, really. Especially as we're top of the league. Uh, the goal is to get Jermaine Defoe with some silverware. At some point in his career. That isn't the one that he won with Spurs that people keep telling me is silverware but really it isn't he got a medal eventually but he wasn't actually playing for the club when they won I mean you can call that winning a trophy if you like but I'm sure Jermaine Defoe probably wouldn't and I'm sure in his heart of hearts he wants a proper trophy and in fact I'm sure I've actually heard him saying that in um, interviews as a Rangers player that this is a great opportunity for him to win a trophy and yeah, so I think we'll stay at Rangers as long as we can. I mean, if you look... I mean, what is that? Just absolute trash. I mean, you can see from Defoe here, you know, his um, little attacking indicator thing is blue. All the way down to blue, which means probably our entire team is now playing at that level as well, which is super defensive. They won't commit men forwards. Look at that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men in our own half there. No, Ojo. In fact, we're the only player now in the opponent's half. And it's a pointless weighted ball through. And we go again. We're eight minutes left. It's pragmatic, you would say, from Steven Gerrard. He wants the three points. We can get the three points. But will it be exciting? Oh, McCreeny, that's a good ball. And that might be the first thing our keepers had to do all game. I think for us now, we just conserve energy, really. There's no point in bombing on. Oh, lovely. Lovely start. Oh, look at that. The hold-up play. Still Defoe. <laughs> I ran into trouble there. Uh, yeah, we're trying to conserve energy at this point, really. That makes it more likely for us to be started in the next game if we haven't run ourselves into the ground. Look at everyone just standing off. If we get caught now, that's a good tackle. No, it isn't. Thomas. Yeah, well won. Well won. And then the ball into Defoe. And that's it, zero extra time to be played, and that's us done. So, two thrilling games here in this first Become a Legend stream. And, um, and Monjo says he isn't enjoying this one like Eddie's. Yeah, I mean, there is... I needed to try something different. Uh, you, you could pick a young player and learn to love them and see them develop, and obviously that's going to be exciting, whoever it is. Eggy was obviously a great story. We enjoyed that. Um, but I'm enjoying the challenge of playing with a traditional striker in a painfully boring team where you've got to take your chances because this is what real football's like. It doesn't work so well as a live stream, I'll admit. <laughs> it's maybe better as edited highlights. But this is football. If you're a striker, you're not going to be touching the ball, you know, multiple times in a game. If you look at, for example, your Jamie Vardy's of this world, they can touch the ball eight, nine times in a game. They've just got to be ready to finish when their chance appears. And that's what we're doing with Jermaine Defoe now. That's how we're going to win silverware with him. We've got to learn to be disciplined. We've got to learn, try not to run around too much. That is always a killer, especially at his age. The ripe old age of 33. A bit younger than he is in real life, obviously. Uh, oh, look, physical contact has gone down. There we are. Well, that's the excitement that we were all looking for. Down to 64. So he's getting weaker in his old age. Frailer, you could say. Luckily, his finishing is 84 still. Kicking power not going anywhere, which is good. Uh, but good to see at least that there is some downfall. So that's another part of why I was interested to do a uh, Become a Legend series with an older player. Just to see what it's like playing with someone who's just getting worse and worse. Please, let's be starting against Lille. This is the massive one. This is the one. 
Oh, so we are starting. And we need a win today. Let's remind ourselves of the competition info. For the... Is that? No, hang on. International team. Yeah, there we are. So... Champions League group stage. So, with a win today, we will climb above Lille into third, and we will make it into the Europa League. That's what we're after. That's what we're after. I'm sorry, just reading your comments. Um, yeah, anyway, so, we just got to win today. Just got to win. Where are we playing? Are we at Ibrox again? Yes, we're at Ibrox. Here we are. Let's finish this episode on a high point. Let's get the win at Ibrox. And let's progress through to the Europa League. Just one more chance for us to win a trophy. A European trophy would absolutely be fine. Defoe starting this game already quite tired. But luckily Ojo, Kent, uh, Davis, Dorans, uh, Jack at the back. It's probably our, probably our best midfield three. Actually, I quite like... Uh, Arfield. Yeah, Arfield should really be in there for the... If you know, for our... Strongest midfield three. Taverners there. Katic and Holanda probably as good as you can get. McGregor at the back. Let's take a look at Lille. Uh, they've got Loic Remy. He's on the bench. Uh, Bamba. Ikone. These are all uh, good, solid Master League signings if you're playing in the French League. Oh, and Jose Fonte. Interesting. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong because he's Portuguese and I pronounce every Portuguese name wrong. It's probably Jose Fuant. Not, no, no, probably not. Anyway. Thiago Maia not making the bench. I remember him. Renato Sanchez is on the bench. It's a good team. It's a much better team than ours. Um, but we've got to get a win here. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's get ourselves a little, little trip through to the Europa League. To probably take on teams that we're going to lose to instantly in the knockout rounds. But still, at least let's have a chance. Let's, let's not make this European conquest... Been for absolutely nothing. We're back at Ibrox under the lights here. It'll be very, very chilly here. Very chilly. I mean, you, it would be advisable to have a small bottle of Buckfast secreted in your sock playing in this game. Just for little nips, wee nips, as the game goes on. Just to keep you warm. Because Jermaine Defoe will need it. He spends a lot of time standing on his own, as we know. Um... But yeah, this is this is probably our most do or die important game so far in the series. I mean, it definitely is. Obviously, we've had the uh, the derbies; they've they've been important. Um, we've had some big games in the Champions League. Uh, did Defoe score against Barca? I think he did. Can he score tonight? Can we scrape another one nil? And uh, Solo suggesting a huge one nil victory. It's not going to be more than that, I wouldn't say. And that's not a good start. Oh, oh, Ikone. That's nicely worked. Good ball in. Bamba's there. Dealt with. Now Ojo. No, not Ojo. Oh, come on. What are you doing? That is a fast break. Oh, Christ almighty. To be honest, I'd stop looking at where we were there. I was so angry about what they were doing. Playing quite a high line here. Can we exploit it? Reynildo does well. Oh, mistake. Defoe takes that. Oh, almost danced away from him there. Couldn't make that mistake count for us. Oh, but that, another mistake. A massive mistake this time. Defoe, good ball in. Can Jack keep hold of it? He can. Foul there, surely. Jack will put a ball into the box. And it is blocked. I mean, yeah, again, you're going to get to see some of our teammates who would, who are good players, just make some awful, awful mistakes. Oh, no, Bamba through on goal here. Could this be the worst possible start? Yes, it is. The Rangers fans silenced here by the winger. And that is going to be hard to come back from. A draw will not be enough. Oh, no. Uh, no, a draw won't be enough. Shit. Hmm. So Matthew's saying a win tonight and Rangers will be celebrating with Hamish and Iron Brew. I think you mean Haggis, unless you know someone specifically called Hamish we might be celebrating with, which would be fine. Um, that could easily be the case. 
Celebrating with Einbrew and Haggis with Hamish. That's totally believable. So here we are. Let's see if we can strike back quickly. Don't want that. Don't want that. Although Oja's not bad in the air. No. Okay, Brill. We'll pick it up. And now Tom Selleck to Akona. They've both, they're both their wingers. Uh, really high quality. He's going to look to slowly take it. They do exactly the same thing every time. It's so predictable. They never force it to the line and put a ball into the box. Oh, that's a good turn. That's a good turn. And Defoe totally isolated here. Little flick into Ojo. Don't want it back. Don't want it back. That's a decent ball, though. Oh, just you, you, you should be able to not want the ball. You should be able to... What's the opposite of calling for the ball? Calling not for the ball? Who knows? But yeah, in those situations, that's not what you want. You need them to build it in the midfield. But they go straight into Defoe. He's on his own. And then as soon as you lay it off, straight back into him again. It doesn't work. And it is frustrating. And also here, you would hope that we'd be on a more attacking... Hey, yeah. I mean, there's always been problems with become a legend. It's going to be harder for me to gloss over them when you're watching the whole game. It's not that I've got any reason to gloss over them. I'm not invested at all in anyone buying pairs or playing it. I enjoy playing it. I enjoy playing Become a Legend. Um, but I guess when I'm playing it on my own, it's easier for me to just ignore the fact that most of the time it can be quite painful. And just get on with it and take your chances when they come. Taverner, lovely work. He plays it out off Bamba. Yes, come on. Right, let's have a chance. Let's have one chance. That's all we want. Just one chance. See, I don't want it back there. I don't want the ball back. Uh, <laughs> right. Let's not let it's not, not let it get to us. Let's not let it get to us. Come on. Tavana, that's better. That's better. I, I, I don't want the ball. We certainly didn't want it there. A thread a 30 yard pass through to a lone Jermaine Defoe with no one near to him. It's Bamber again, the goal scorer. That's a lovely ball in, and that is time at the bar for our European journey this season. That's us done. That is us done. Jesus Christ. So what are you guys talking about in the comments? Probably more interesting than this. We're talking about Bangladesh. Interesting. Most tightly populated country in the world. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Do you remember the stats about Indonesia from the uh, last Become a Legend? That's, that still blows my mind. Still blows my mind. There's so many funny comments in that video where I was like, can you guess this country? From the picture of the country, some people are like, well, obviously that's Indonesia. You've shown us a picture of Indonesia. A lot of people, like me, didn't know where it was, which made me feel slightly better about my poor geography. But Bangladesh, yeah, don't know much about that either. I mean, I'm all right with countries and geography. Not, not brilliant. I'm right. And that's about as exciting as this game's going to get. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. No, no, no. <sighs> European dream slipping quickly away. Yes, well won. That's it. That's it. Play it back. That's it. Yeah. Back to the keeper. Back to the keeper. <sighs> I mean, Ojo's got... That's annoying. That's actually not a bad ball, though. Oh, that's... Oh, 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 could have passed that. That was actually a really good ball. Didn't expect that. That's awful. Ojo, come on. That's a good ball. Oh, Jose Fonte. Shit. Well, there's a chance there. That's annoying. Kone turns. It's a poor ball. Try and avoid being able to be passed to here so that the build up actually takes place. There we are, that's better. Just got to hide basically behind the centre back this half time now, for fuck's sake. I mean, we are the, the poor. We're the weakest team in this group, no doubt about that. Weakest. <sighs> Well, 
over 45 minutes here at Ibrox. Can we dig deep? Can we do anything? Oh, no, come on. You oh. We are lacking an attacking midfielder to play behind Jermaine Defoe. It makes it difficult. He very much is a lone striker. I mean alone. Not just lone. Alone. Forever alone. This is well worked. That's a good challenge. That's a good challenge! Was that going to be a foul? That's a good challenge. That's a good challenge! Watch him. Watch him on the right. Tom Selleck. That's a good ball. A route! Oh. Nearly makes it three. You had time there. You had time there, James. Oh, we've won it back. Time to burst into action and pass it back to the centre-back. Come on. Come on. That's it. Use the wingers. Ah! Oh, sweet Mary and Joseph. I've seen Sunday League teams outplay these guys. Alright, we'll just try and sit in this patch of space here behind Jose Font. I mean, we need to be on the defender's shoulder, but when we win it back, the problem is they're so bad at through balls. It's very difficult to get one into the, uh, into the space. <laughs> at least when we were Eggy last season, you could pick it up in the midfield and we'd drive forward and make something happen. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get up, Jermaine! Jermaine! On your feet! Good running, Taverner. Oh, Fonte. That's horrible. Cynical stuff there. Love this view for free kicks in this area. Not ideal because you can't see the man. We're going to lurk edge of the box. Oh. Is that a corner? Come on. Let's have a goal now. Defoe scored a couple of times from corners. Not a short one. Not a short one. Look at the space here for Defoe. That's it. Ah, I was going to flick it over my head there. <sighs> Wasted. Wasted. Here we go. Here we go. Here. Uh, pressure. No. Hour gone here. Unless we score now. I mean, there's no chance anyway. Ah. <laughs> you shite bag. As they say in Scotland. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the Europa League, so it would have been nice. It would have been very unlikely, even if we got past this. The chances of us coming up against some of the other knocked-out Champions League sides and winning it, very, very slim. We need to keep grinding out results in the league. That seems to be the way that we're going to win a trophy this season. If we go to a Premier League side, I mean, Chelsea are interested. We're not going to get much playing time there. Uh, do we want to, you know, just a participation medal? Participation trophy, I guess. I mean, if we can win the Scottish Premier League with Rangers and end up top scorer as well, that would certainly be a lovely way to crown his career. Just the cherry on top of a goal-scoring career cake. That's what we're looking for, really. Good pressure there, forcing a mistake. And we've missed it. Yep, there we are. Well, all that pressure for nothing. There we are. Good tackle. Well done. Well done. Here we go. Here we go. Didn't want it there, but we'll pass it back, and we'll pass it back, and we'll pass it back. At least we are on a red attacking level now. So you'd help we might try... Oh, it's a searching ball there for Ojo. Good flick, Defoe. Too slow to react to that. That's annoying. Beyond Ray. Into Bamba. I mean, at this stage, you sort of hope to be substitute so we can get this over a little bit quicker. We're never going to score three goals in 15 minutes. It's not going to happen. Easy interplay there. A Coney ball in. Had to deal with that. Off the chest. Into the air. And cleared. Come on. React. React. No. Zeka. A Kone keeps it. That's a good, good tackle there. What do we do now? Hold it up. Oh, that's a foul. Come on. Come on. Uh, yeah, Chinese League would be would be a good move if it was in this. 
yellow card there. Well, at least we've achieved something in this game. It's going to be a nasty fine for him. He won't like that, I'm sure. Baby crying in the background there. Oh, and we have been we've been uh, we've been subbed off. Thank for that. That's a sweet mercy for us there. Stephen Gerrard giving us an early bath. I think it'll be straight in the uh, straight in the car and home for me if I was Jermaine Defoe after this result. No messing around. Yeah, MLS would be a, a sensible move. We could go to the Thai League. That's a thing in this. I don't know if actually that that, that works and become a legend. Uh, yeah, eight minutes left. Morelos again forced to come on and try and salvage something here but it won't be uh, Defoe has done MLS already yeah he was at Toronto um, his mate oh Morelos first chance of the game level ranges oh yeah Defoe uh, good mates with um, what's his name you know the guy the rapper <laughs> the rap artist the uh, hip hop Musical entertainer. Drake. That's his fucking name. That's his name, isn't it? Bezzy Mates. Apparently Drake actually rang him personally to convince him to move to Toronto. It's about as... You know, I mean, you don't get that. You don't get that very often. I wonder if Elton John has ever rung up anyone to try and get them to sign for Watford. You probably would say yes, wouldn't you? You'd be worried about what you might do if you didn't. So there we go. Ten seconds left. Murphy's going to get four seconds here to influence this one. We just need three goals. No, there we are. Well, 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 well. This has been like pulling teeth, um, but just slightly more painful. Once again, we had me fucking around with the mic at the beginning. We scored a goal, at least. We're still top of the league, at least. Jermaine Defoe somehow with a six there. At least we can concentrate on the important thing now, which is the league. Obviously, we're out. Uh, Morelos linked with Villa for a January move. I would like to see him in the Premier League. I'd like to see what he can what he can do. But that is us done. That is us done, and that's me done for this stream. I'm afraid. So, yeah, it's just not going to be as interesting as become a uh, Master League for the. Oh, next one though. We start with a derby. Boom. So. Join me for that one next Wednesday. That's going to be a thriller. And thanks for joining me for this one. It's been painful. It's been... Um, phew, yeah, it's... Yeah, I mean, we can just chat. I enjoyed chatting. I enjoyed talking with you. I enjoyed talking bollocks. That I can do and will do again. So join me on Friday for Master League at 8 o'clock. That's a little bit more exciting. I'll see you in a bit.